the Congress Party and the JDS have formed a post-election alliance in Karnataka. The numbers of the Congress Party and the JDS clearly established that the alliance has a majority in the legislature in Karnataka. Yet, the governor has not taken a decision to invite Sri Kumaraswamy to form the government. As we walked into this press conference, we heard that the governor may have invited Mr. Yadiyurappa to form the government, but since no one is able to confirm it, I do not wish to proceed on that basis. We are proceeding on the basis the governor has not yet taken a decision to invite anyone. The question is why? What is standing in the way of the governor extending an invitation to the leader of the alliance who has clearly demonstrated that he commands the support of the majority? Earlier this evening, the Congress and the JDS offered to produce their MLAs physically before the governor, but they were denied permission. The leaders of the Congress and the leaders of the JDS met the governor, gave him the list of members, which together makes for a majority, gave him a copy of the judgment in Chandrakant Kavaleka, decided by the Supreme Court on the Fourteenth of March, two thousand seventeen, in the Goa case, and said, "This is the law. This is the law declared by the Supreme Court, and the law declared by the Supreme Court is binding on all authorities in India, under Article one hundred and forty-one of the Constitution of India." All that I wish to say now is, the governor holds an exalted constitutional office. He should not walk on a perilous path which is illegal. He is bound by the Supreme Court judgment. He is bound to invite the leader of the alliance that has been formed and presented to him as an alliance which commands the majority of the members in the Legislative Assembly. We sincerely hope that there will not be another outrage on the Constitution. We sincerely hope that the old British saying, the foot of the Chancellor prevails. Law cannot change according to the foot of the Chancellor is an old British saying. Let the Governor be Chancellor of Universities let him not become here the chancellor whose foot moves in whatever direction that is convenient. There's only one way in which the governor can uphold the constitution, and that is by inviting Sri H.T. Kumaraswamy to form the government with the support of his legislators and the support of the Congress legislators.